Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy No Ceilings and today on AliExpress Reviews, we are going to take a look at the Musemi 7-in-1 Universal Mobile Phone Lens Kit. Now, I want to throw in my usual disclaimer. I'm not affiliated with AliExpress. I don't get free products. I buy everything with my own money. So keep in mind, I won't sit and BS about the items. If something is bad, I'll tell you it's bad and don't waste your money. And if something is good, I'll recommend you to buy it. Guys, without wasting time, let's take a look at the features and the specs of this product and what we get in this package. So the first thing is 8x telephoto lens which has a magnification of 8 times, guys without activating the zoom on the phone and without making the picture blur. Minimum focus distance will be 3 meters of this telephoto lens. Field view 246 meters. Wide angle 16 degree view and the size of the lens is 30 by 70 millimeters and the color is black. Next up we have the tripod. The tripod has a universal phone mount included. Adjustable lockable swivel head Extendable legs with non-stick rubber feet. Adjustable from 150 to 200 millimeters tall. Lightweight aluminium construction. Weight 80 grams. The item can be can support a maximum of 300 grams, which means a phone, a camera, or any sort of device that you have. 300 grams, the maximum weight that the tripod can handle. The clip size is 5.5 to 7.5 centimeters, and the color is black as well. Included in the package is a three-in-one lens, a fisheye lens. The angle is 175 to 180 degrees. Magnification 0.33 times. Lens construction: three-element, three-group. Maximum diameter 25 millimeters, and the length is 15 millimeters. The other lens you get is the wide-angle lens, which will capture 130 degrees of angle. The magnification is 0.67 times. Lens construction, two elements, two groups. Maximum diameter of the lens is 20 millimeters and the length is 11 millimeters. The last lens that we get is the macro lens. Magnification of the macro lens will be 10 times. Minimum object distance, 10 millimeters to 15 millimeters. Lens construction, one element, one group. Maximum diameter, 20 millimeters and the length, 15 millimeters. So included with the package is an amazing feature, guys. A Bluetooth shutter. The color is black, works with iOS, Android and basically all the phones out. and for Android it's 4.2.2 or above. Function keys, on and off, Bluetooth pairing, photograph, Android configuration available and iOS configuration. Bluetooth 3.0, effective distance 10 meters which is 30 feet. The Bluetooth shutter will be powered by a CR2032 button battery. Let's go ahead and see what this package will include, right? So let's let's go ahead and open this up and put out everything and set it out right here. So you get a microfiber cleaning cloth. Okay, so package will include a 12 times telephoto lens, which is one piece. That is this lens guys, this is the telephoto lens. So basically this lens without any zoom applied on the phone, it will bring objects that are far away very close. So we'll put it to the test and see how it works. So 12 times telephoto lens, 3 in 1 lens kit which will be one piece. So right there you got your 3 lenses, we'll open it up and check it out as well. So these are the 3 in 1 lenses. Okay next up we have a tripod. This basically guys this is the tripod right here. So put it on the side right here. Third thing we'll have is a lens clip. The lens clip which is attached together with the packaging of the telephoto lens. So it comes together. That is the lens clip. At first I was wondering what the hell was the lens clip. But then I figured out that it was put in together with this. So this is cool. And we have uh, the last thing is the Bluetooth shutter which is this. So you can take your pictures without being near your phone. Just with a click and the photo will be taken. So we'll put this to the test as well guys. So that's basically it. Those are, the, those are the items you get on this. And let's go ahead and start opening one by one and see the construction and the build to it. We'll start off with the telephoto lens and the clip. So as you can see the, the clip is all plastic made but it has a very hard feel to it and it looks like it will last because it has a very good build to it. The lens too guys it feels quite heavy and a really amazing plastic finish to it and with some silver plastic lines to it. Uh, there we got the lens, we got two protective covers which is a really 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 amazing feature they did so that your lens doesn't get scratched once you're finished you just close it back and put it back to your place. So this is a really amazing feature plus you got a handle mount right here. This is a really really good build and it's amazing. Really 
impressed with this. So we got the we got the telephoto lens right here. Next up, we got a three-in-one lenses. So let's open it up and see. Oh, so guys, they put in a bag, a carrying bag, a small tiny carrying bag, which is a really awesome touch. And let's do the smell test. <sighs> Smells fresh and feels like it's some kind of velvet material or cotton and it's built to last guys so you can throw in the three lenses in there after you're done using and it will keep it protected so very nice touch right there so in here guys we got the three lenses which is the fish eye the wide, uh, wide angle lens and the macro lens and we got another mount to it so you won't have to use the same clip of the telephoto lens you get your own separate lens together that was a really amazing touch as well really impressed with this so as you can see it also comes with the lens protection cover there was a really nice touch too so you can prevent your lens from getting scratched with this but as you can see right here we got a wide angle lens and the macro lens they are basically joined together so you just unscrew it like this and you have your separate lenses they are made of metal and as you can see you got this the metal of the metal body of the lens it comes far top guys the lens is inside so if your lens happens to fall downwards like this on the ground don't worry of it getting scratched because the metal will protect the lens because the lens is basically inside right there yeah so the macro the, this is the wide angle lens this is the macro lens they basically put together like this and all you gotta do is just screw it around the clip like that you're basically done and grab your phone right there and clip it in like this Tracking this thick armor case right now which I also got from Aliexpress I recommend this case guys a very amazing case and I, would, I want to order another one so once the new one comes I'll make a review on this a really really amazing case guys my phone stays protected from this this is the fish eye lens now as you can see switch on fish eye lens 180 degrees right there next up we have the tripod guys this is basically the tripod right here as you can see well feels really sturdy and feels amazing plus when you open this guys it, it's, it's a really 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 amazing build it's all aluminium and with the plastics this is this is plastic and guys it's it's it's, it's a really amazing build as you can see it's hard and it's built to last basically guys so guys this is the, basically the screw to loosen up where you mount your camera your phone whatever guys so nice touch to that as well you can adjust the side you can even put it on a land on the landscape mode you see that guys a really amazing feature tighten it up and just put it like that and you're good to go so I'll show you guys how this works after I put all the mounts together so this is how it's gonna be so put this here and file that back to the side and next up we got the lens clip yeah, the lens clip is basically this one guys it's similar to this you basically open the telephoto lens and put it, screw it around there but guys if you're getting this guys if you're getting this set you basically gotta be careful not to ruin these threads because this is plastic and without with any force or something wrong you do you'll end up damaging it and you won't be able to use this anymore it will be useless because you won't be able to mount it anyway so you gotta be really careful but otherwise these two connected guys they have a decent weight to it and they feel like they, they are built to last so that's how you do it and you got this knob right here which moves it's a manual focus guys this is basically for the focus so yeah we're done with that so this is basically the clip guys this is where your phone will be mounted it's just like a selfie stick mount this is basically for the phones bear with me guys bear with me I'm not used to filming behind the camera like this so it's quite uncomfortable so yeah so this is how you just put it in and make sure you tighten this up well so it doesn't this is not loose like that so you basically put in put it in like this and put it out and i don't know if my phone will sustain this because i'm using the htc one max and it's a really heavy phone so let's try to mount my phone on this and see how much weight the, the tripod can sustain basically if you have a huge phone and a huge case like this You'll have to remove your case guys, you can't use it with the case because the case will pick up more space and my, my phone is already thick guys, so let's see. And the case is heavy as well, so it's gonna put in more weight to the tripod and it might not be able to sustain my phone basically. So guys, this tripod as you can see can handle my phone, the HTC One Max, so I would say it can sustain any phone right here guys. 
because this is one of the heaviest phones out and I know I'm rocking an old phone right now but I really love this phone and I don't see myself changing to any other phone the big screen I got a bunch of phones here got right here guys I have a bunch of phones right here I got the Note 2 shit someone is calling I got a Sony Xperia Z with me I got a Note 2 with me I got a HTC One M7 right here I got two S4 minis guys basically I got an iPhone 5 and some HTC I don't even remember I think HTC Desire 5 to 6 or something like that I'm not, I, I can't really remember but I hardly use these phones anymore they're basically on my desk right here so I'm sure guys it will handle all these phones because my phone is heavier than all of these phones my, my main phone which is the HTC One Max so let me put this to the side and that's basically it and the Bluetooth shutter as well. Let's open it up and see. It has a decent click to it, and this is the remote shutter, and this is where the battery goes in. You also get a user manual in there for y'all that don't know, but this is some simple shit to me, and we just file that to the side. So, guys, let me set up everything and show you how these lenses work. So, guys, now we go ahead and test these lenses. So basically right now guys it's dark out and it's night time right here so we're just gonna test it right here but I'm gonna throw in the pictures and show you the difference with the camera with the lenses and without the lenses that were taken that are provided on the AliExpress page. So I'm gonna throw those pictures in and also show you those. But we're gonna also go and test it out and see how convenient it is to use. So placing it it's really easy and I forgot to mention guys you got a, like a rubber stop right here inside the lens so your screen will be also safe and I'm rocking a glass protector with this with my phone so I'm not really worried of my screen and it doesn't have that much pressure so don't worry about your screen so basically as it said it fits all the phones and it fit my phone the only drawback that will be there is you block your flashlight but that doesn't matter guys so guys it's too close right here to take a picture so I'm gonna move behind and take a picture of this table and show you the picture so guys basically the lens works really amazing as you can see I took these pictures like a meter away from my room and it came out really clear with no zoom guys a meter away from my room and you can actually see like the table is so close to you and it works really really amazing so I definitely recommend this guys it's a really amazing lens so let's go ahead and test the fish eye lens and the macro lens and the wide angle lens as well so right here we got this is the macro lens we'll start off with the macro lens and let's go ahead and put it on and see with the macro lens you have to be really really close to focus well as you can see that guys macro lens works really amazing man check that picture out man really clear you gotta be really really close so if you wanna up your instagram game and shit like that you can take in a very close up pictures and really amazing pictures like of a flower or an insect or something like that and zoom it in on your snaps snapchat or instagram it will really blow people's minds up so it's really amazing touch this is the wide angle lens so let's check it out see that see the difference guys see that and that so we have the macro lens here and let's put it to the test so you have to be really close for it to focus as you can see that guys focusing really amazing and really really well as you can see that so if you want something really close like let's say this tripod screw area you see that guys brings in the clarity of something really close so you no longer have to have the hassle like trying to focus you sit there taking like a million snaps just to try to focus one on one picture and just throwing this lens you get a very close look and it's basically done next you got the bluetooth shutter and you basically as you can see there's that switch right there put that switch on and it's on pairing mode you can see that light flashing let me just check my phone and repair it and see how it works so guys for some reason my HTC One Max doesn't have the option of selecting the volume buttons to capture pictures so we're gonna try it off with my HTC One M7 basically I'm running a custom ROM that's why we are having that issue but 
it's good man I hardly use my phone camera because mostly I'm on snapchat and instagram I use the built in cameras so let's go ahead and pair it up with this M7 and see how it works so we are basically connected to my to my HD One Max and let me just come up my Bluetooth right there and now as you can see it's already shown up AB shutter 3 connecting pairing and wait for it to connect and we are ready to test it out so we are paired and it's connecting it's connected so let's go to the camera and put it to test so you see that guys choose volume button option so we're gonna select capture so let's see see that guys works really awesome look at that see that works really well and this is an op this is for iOS camera 360 so I don't think with I with iOS it will work with uh, the built-in camera but you can give it a try I'm not really sure with that that's why they have camera 360 right here as you can see but with Android both the buttons basically just capture the picture as you can see that it just ca captures the picture and does nothing more so that's basically it guys and once you're done you just push that switch down on the side like that and it's basically off and your battery is being saved so guys that's basically it and I hope I covered everything I definitely recommend this item and it's gonna set you back about 12 bucks it costed me about 14 because of shipping to Kenya that's where I live and basically some sellers will have free shipping some will have paid shipping but the payment for the shipping won't be like more than two, one to two dollars basically so they, they ship worldwide free of charge Aliexpress guys so go there and check this my reviews and go ahead if I tell you to get something guys just go ahead and get it and you won't regret it guys free shipping really really great products really great price so that's basically it for today catch you in the next video and this is a definitely seal of approval from Aliexpress reviews and I definitely recommend this so this is a go till next time guys catch you in the next video I'm off peace